so um, I'm making or I have made this um, uh, rocking chair from wooden clothespins for uh, Monster High dollhouse which is why it's green so you need 12 clothespins and you just separate them and you can use these for another craft so just hang on to those um, the two or, or the, the four main parts of it here I've already glued because you want them to be really dry before you start so I, I pre-did those but it's just two clothespins and you turn them back facing each other and glue them all along both sides you might want to hold them for a minute or two and until it's really stuck and then it should be good um, but you want to make sure they're really really dry so I have mine dry and then I did uh, the the bottom rocker and this one I've already done so the clothespins are facing the same direction with the pointy ends going this way and you just overlap it uh, up to the little notch on the top um, and I put my glue on just with a little piece of recycled paper And again, you just want to hold that for a second until it's stuck well. And then set it aside and let it finish drying. Okay, so now we're going to start putting together the uh, bottom, the seat part. So we have to put the enforcements on the bottom. And I'm going to put those right below the notch here. So I put a little bit of glue there. And a little here. We need to leave that and let it let it set for a little while because it really has to be dry before we can go on to the next part because it's going to hold the weight of all the rest of the chair. Go straight, yeah, that's straight. All right, so then we'll do this one same way, except we'll turn it so that uh, our pointy ends go in the opposite direction. I don't really think that part matters, but that's what I did. Okay, so these have to dry for a while. So, I don't know if they're completely dry how I like them, but um, I'm going to show you how to put these two together. I put a little bit of glue on the ends and slide it on to the other half and uh, the supports you kind of want to line up with each other Ooh, that's still wet okay um, so you can tell they're they're lining up all around they're not offset um, and I'm gonna hold this for a little while <laughs> um, to let it really really dry and then we can move on to actually making the seat so uh, while this bottom part is really drying, I'm going to set that aside and I can show you how to make the back of the chair. And it uses five pins, well, five halves. Um, and you don't have to measure it up to anything. It's really just this is flush there and it's flush here to the bottom and to the sides. So we're just going to put a little dab of glue on the corners. and set it in here and uh, the back of the chair is the flat part of the clothespin because this part wouldn't hold the glue as well. You notice how I have the two 
flat parts pushed together. And I like to stagger them so the uh, the shape is you know going that way and this way and that way and this way rather than just having them all the same way but you can do them how you want them the second one I put right above the notch where the spring goes and then I just kind of eyeball it for the top one since it's not going exactly to the top And just straighten everything out. All right, that looks good. So I'm, this I'm just going to set aside because I don't need it until the absolute end. But like everything else, you want it to be extremely dry. So that's done. And we're waiting for our bottom half to dry. And then we can start putting this together and make it look like an actual chair. Okay, so the bottom part is pretty much dry now. Um, I like to, while it's still in pieces and still manageable, I take uh, my my little recycled piece of cardboard or paper, or whatever, and dab in some glue where I see any gaps, just to make sure that it's it's gonna be sturdy. I think that's pretty good. Really, don't need to wait for this to dry because it's already holding firm. Um, so from this point we can start putting on the actual seat. Um, and the front is the part uh, where you have the, the thickest part of the um, clothespin in the front. And that's the same way that you're going to have the seat facing. So you're going to be like this. Crossed. Like that. Um, and you want them to line up with the, uh, the two outside pin supports here. And then just like for the top, you just eyeball it and get it into the middle. Um, so your glue is going to be here because I can't really tell where it has to be here and I don't want to guess and not get it right. So take my little dab of glue. Well, I say little, but you know, if you have a little bit too much, you can always wipe it off. But to take apart the entire chair and put on extra would be a pain in the butt. Okay. So that's about even. I'm not going to push on these because uh, I don't want to accidentally break my supports. Okay, so that will dry and we don't have to wait for that. Now we're going to do our arms and it sits right up on top of these and it you kind of have to play with it a little bit as it's uh, drying just to get it to stay where you want it. And we're going to put a little bit of glue on the ends, again the flat side. And our fattest part of the pin is the outside, so this is the front of the chair right here. I think that's actually going to stay. Yay! Now I'll do the other arm. Alright. So let's let this dry for a little bit because um, we're going to then put our back of our chair, this part, on top of our arms. So we want this to be really dry now, because if it's not, it'll just slide right off and take our arms with it, and probably the rest of the chair as well. <laughs> okay, so let's let this dry. Alright, so now this is more or less dry. I'm going to turn it on its side, and that's now the back of the chair. And I like to glue it this way, so I don't have to worry about it sliding around as it's drying. So. I'm going to put my glue here, generous amount, and 
this onto uh, chair arm rails. And that's going to dry there for a good 15 minutes. Once that's done, then we can put in our, uh, our little rails that we made for the rocking. And it's, as you can see, it's kind of uh, offset, but you're centered between, you know, the, the width of the, I don't know what you want to call it, the clothespin. <laughs> And it does rock, but it's it's not like very in, you know smooth rocking mechanism. But you know they're clothespins. What do you want? I mean, it's just cute and it's fun. Um, so we're gonna let that sit there and dry for 20 minutes, and then come back and see where we got it. If we can put on the bottom or not. Okay, so it's not as dry as I would like it to be, but it's not going anywhere. So at this point, we can put in, um, put on our little rockers, and let's see. And I think that's enough. Okay. Um, how I did this one was just right behind the first groove, and then the other one just wherever it fell into place. And I'm certain that you'll have to put on some more glue um, once it starts to set, just to fill in any little gaps because it's not a perfect fit. said it wasn't completely dry. It's not. It fooled me. Okay. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> At this point, it really has to just sit here and dry. <laughs> um, once it's dried, though, you're good to go. You're done. Um, and then you can paint it as I've done this one, or you can just leave it like this. Um, as I was uh, sitting here and playing with it, I noticed that my cell phone fits in here, like a little cradle. So if you wanted uh, to make this for your desk at work, you could just use it to hold your cell phone. Or um, I thought a, a small terracotta pot might be really cute in there with a, um, an artificial plant or a succulent something, you know. Um, but it's, it's pretty sturdy once it is dry. And painted and cute and then it's all done and there you go and I think I probably spent a, a dollar making this and, and that was for a pack of 36 clothespins so a very inexpensive craft and um, enjoyable I think overall so that's it have fun hope you liked it hi uh, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel thanks bye